All right, it's uh, Tuesday, about 2.10 or so. Um, doing a tour for some clients and figured I'd do a video of Jarman's Gap just to show where it is and what it looks like now and what it's going to look like when it's all finished. I'll put some links up on the post accompanying this video uh, or you can search them out. I think if you search Jarman's Gap Road, Crozet, the real Crozet VA blog will probably come up um, to give you history on it. We're passing Whalen's Grant on the left, uh, the start of Old Trail there on the right. Um, this is still the old um, part of Jarman's Gap. Now uh, you have uh, Bargain and Park there on the left. You have Old Trail to the right. Sort of see where the road's going to go on the, in front of those houses. All right, now we're crossing onto the new and improved Germans Gap Road. You can see it's wider. Um, the, the, the molds and frames for the sidewalk are there on the left, um, and bike lanes are, will eventually uh, presumably be marked on either side of this. I know a lot of my clients have brought their kids down here to watch all the big equipment, which is all sorts of fun. Speed limit on this road is 25. Um, you do have to work to stay under 35 and be very aware. So we're pulling up onto 240 or Crozet Avenue. Um, Tabor Church across the street. Looking down that way, that's Tabor Street, naturally, uh, which goes to Claudius Crozet Park. Let's do a quick tour of Crozet for you. Library Avenue, which if they ever build the library, that's where the library is going to go. Cochina del Sol, decent restaurant. We don't tend to go there much anymore. Too salty. Mountainside Senior Living Facility. Um, Mudhouse Coffee, Georgetown West Hair Studio, Crozet Hardware, which is awesome just friendly good people um, our China, new China restaurant which was a banner day for Crozet when we got Chinese food far downers great live music good food Parkway pharmacy uh, this is Barnes lumber yard which is trying to be sold and redeveloped into uh, sort of a mini downtown mall as they have in Charlottesville that there's a library which all sorts of conversations going on right now about that this is this is re referred to as the square. Uh, I don't know if you saw it over there. Yeah, there's the railroad tracks through there. There's a story on Real Crozet VA it talks about how often the train runs. So if you search how often does the train run in Crozet, you'll find that story. Mud House, you know, one of my favorite spots to go, by far. This is the stop sign, the four-way stop, which confounds a lot of people, way too many. Uh, BP gas station and the place for the little blockbuster kiosk. Over the Moon bookstore, great little bookstore. Admiral Ballet Theater, Crozet Pizza, Three Notch Grill. The 
stuff is in the midst of being redeveloped and released. Um, so help me again. Fisher Auto Parts, Sal's Pizza, which is great pizza, great people, dollar store, um, great value restaurant, uh, grocery store, um, really friendly, great local people, um, local bread from Goodwin Creek, I mean, just a nice place. And the uh, Crozet School and Office Supply Store in there. This, apparently, the the County of Albemarle is um, notoriously bad for approving signage, so that's why they don't have a new sign. Now you have the Boy Scouts Christmas trees. We usually get our tree there, but this year we might go to a Christmas tree farm and go hiking and cut down our own tree this year. Down there, about a mile, you go to Star Hill Brewery. Uh, fantastic uh, beer, nice, nice uh, brewery tours. Um, good beer. We're blessed with good beer in this area. Um, let's see, down to the right is Crozet Elementary School, which is uh, very walkable and bikeable to get to. Um, greenhouse Coffee, by right, I mean, if I, if I were to turn right at this intersection. I'm not going to turn left. <clears throat> um, and Greenhouse Coffee, which is, again, great local food and coffee and just, you know, just a, a nice little part of Crozet. And so we are back at the square. <laughs>